Hello. How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today it is update 20 reveal day. I've just finished watching the live stream and now today we know all the information, all of the new cars, updates and additions to Forza Horizon 4 in update 20. Now update 20 is releasing sometime this week with the first of the new cars starting on Thursday because that's when the season changes over to this update 20. So very quickly in today's video I'm going to read through all of the new cars, all of the new features and everything you need to know about Forza Horizon 4's update 20 which is coming out this week. Very quickly before we start, I would like to say, I don't say this very often, I would like to say if this video helps you out, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I always try to be the best and the quickest informational channel for Forza Horizon 4 updates. I try to get these update videos out within 30 minutes of the stream ending and hopefully today I've succeeded. So please just consider subscribing if I helped you out. And also to my subscribers, I'm starting regular Twitch streams again, not just on Forza though, on whatever I fancy playing on that day. There'll be the odd giveaway over on Twitch as well. So if you're interested in giveaways or watching live streams of me playing whatever, my Twitch is in the description. Keep an eye out for that this week. Let's get on to this update. So I'm going to start with the festival playlist, which has all of the new cars that are coming this week. So for the full series, for 50% on the full series, so the whole month, you'll get the McLaren 600 LT. And then at 80% for the full series, the Ferrari 250 Testarossa. Now, the first week, which starts this week, this Thursday, this is summer, at 50% completion, you'll unlock the McLaren Speedtail, which is one of the new cars coming out this month. And it's one that we've all guessed correctly from Torben Tuesday. For 80% completion in summer, you'll unlock the 720S Spider, also another McLaren. Now on to autumn, which is the second week, which is sort of next week. Um, at 50% completion, you can get the TVR Cigaris Forza Edition. Not too bad. And then 80% completion, the Lamborghini Diablo GTR. Quite a rare car. And then the new car in autumn, the Napier Railton. I believe that's how you pronounce that. This is a car that's a one of one. It's got a 24 litre engine from a plane and it's pretty interesting. It's the one in the thumbnail with the McLaren. This is the second new car this month and it's in autumn in the exclusive championship. In winter, which is the third week, at 50% completion we can unlock the new Toyota 2000 GT. This is the third new car of the series and also another Toyota we're getting back obviously. And then 80% completion at the Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR. Then the final week, which is spring, at 50% completion you can get the Koenigsegg 1 to 1, and then at 80% completion the Alpha 33 Stradale. Unfortunately, that's it for the new cars this week, but we still have a new business. We have new small updates and stuff like that, so there's still new stuff this update, which I'll get to now. Something I did notice they said. When they said that the Alpha 33 Stradale is at spring for 80%, they said it's one of the fastest cars in the game. Which confuses me, because it's not. Maybe they've updated it. It used to be the fastest car in old Forzas, so maybe they've updated it. We'll have to see. Anyway, that's the new festival playlist and the new bits and boobs like that. Now for the new Horizon business or Horizon story. So there is a new Horizon story slash business coming to the game and it is called Express Delivery. It's another thing we've all guessed correctly from my Torben Tuesday video last week. This is a Horizon story based around being a delivery driver. You, you're, in, you're in a van, you're in a pimped up van delivering items in game supposedly. Now there are nine chapters in this Horizon business and there's a few new things that have come with it. There's a new character called Billy um, from an actor, can't remember his name, I'll be honest. And then there's also a new outfit we can get through the Horizon business, which is kind of a delivery outfit for your character. So it looks like a pretty cool Horizon business to be honest. I'll be doing that or Horizon story, it's your choice what you want to do it, but it is a business story, not just a Horizon story. So yeah, that should be pretty cool. Now let's talk about all the other new stuff that's coming this update. Now there has been eight new achievements added to the game, three of which are within the New Horizon business. 
three of which are in another Horizon story which are called Upgrade Heroes. That's an old Horizon story, so there's three new achievements in there. And then there's also some new achievements all to do with the Lego Bugatti Chiron. If I was to guess, possibly hitting a high top speed in the Lego Chiron, maybe that will unlock an achievement. But yeah, eight new achievements added to the game, worth 200 gamer score, I believe. So we sort of know where to go and what to do to get those new achievements. There's been little stuff like there's been a new accessibility menu added to the start screen and also the pause menu, they said. Um, there's been new subtitle options added. So I think some words get highlighted, just little stuff for if you need sign language, I believe. Just more accessibility and more options within the pause menu for subtitles. They have improved the search functionality for blueprint races. You can now filter it down to the amount of laps you want to find a race on. So if you want 50 lap races, you can search for 50 lap races. They have added the police front bumper to the 96 Chevy Impala SS. I had to make sure I got that right. They have added share code functionality to all types of blueprints, paint jobs, whatever. There is blue, there is share code functionality on every single one of those that exists. And the most insane feature that they did is they have improved the windscreen wiper animations on the Lexus LFA. Now, one last thing, which is worth mentioning, to be honest, is now Forza Horizon now have their own Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. They used to share it with Forza Motorsport and use their Playground Games Twitter. But now there is a Forza Horizon Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Forza Horizon on Facebook, Forza Horizon on Twitter and Forza Horizon official on Instagram. So go find all of those if you want to follow Forza Horizon. But for this update, that is basically everything. We've got the three new cars, a new business, the new achievements, the new updates, the new fixes, and the new socials, and the windscreen wiper. Overall, the update's lacking for cars, but I can't complain. We got a McLaren Speedtail, and we got that cool plain engine 24-litre jobby. So pretty cool update. I'm going to leave it there. Make sure to subscribe if I've managed to convince you to. Stay tuned for more information on future Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later.